certified stepper, I'm the leader of this ape shit. What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Brit Baby choked out by P-Nice at No Jumper. Let's get into it. Hello. What's that? Okay, we good. Hello. What's up, P-Nice? Oh, that's P-Nice. AKA King Dingaling, what you on? <laughs> Wait, man, God. Damn, Adam. Like, it ain't even been three seconds into the clip and you tweaking, man. Oh, my goodness, bro. Why you gotta be so gay all the time, man? It's in my soul. That's a crazy disciple, bro. man. I believe him. Bro. Hey, what's man. up, man? Why you didn't tell me what happened the other day on the phone? Nigga, I, I forgot to call you back, nigga. I was out of hood, nigga. You know how I go, nigga. Yeah. Hey, you stop being modest, nigga. How about yeah, what? Adam asking you a question, cuz. Did a nigga choke the nigga out of what, nigga? You know what it is. You the nigga that, why would you ask me if you the nigga talking? Hey, what? I mean, uh, I'm about to say Adam, ask him, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I, hey, hey, you talking hey, to me. No, let's go straight you to the You talking source. to me, nigga, what you say? Yeah, nigga, look, check it out. The nigga was tripping. This in the hood and everything, you feel me? I seen the show the other day, he said it wasn't no talking, no insane, nothing, no blah, 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 right? Oh, yeah. What happened? He must. Now, Britt Baby say he never dissed the hood. He say he never said nothing about insane. Y'all get in the comments and let me know if you seen that clip. Did Britt Baby diss the hood? Grabbed him up by his collar. You know how a bully do a little kid in school? He That's how you lift his up? And lift his feet off the ground? No. That's how I had him against the wall. And I do y'all believe that P. Nice Pick Brick Baby up by his collar, feet off the ground, and Brick Baby ain't do nothing. Come on, man. Do y'all believe that? I don't know, gang. Do y'all believe that? Cause on the internet, Brick Baby seen like he on that, like he stand on business. You seen his last argument on no jumper? He say he had more bodies than homie had squabbles, gang. <laughs> So I don't know. And I told him, what you say about the hood, nigga? He did say that. He like, big bro, big bro, nah, nah, big bro, nah, big bro. Now, did I wrap my hands around his neck and start to squeeze like a python? No, I didn't. <laughs> but I grabbed him by a collar with both That's my right. hands and pushed my knuckles into his throat. And said, what you say about the hood, nigga? 100%. He was like, big bro, big bro. And then he had, I ain't going to get into that, but I pushed something down into his pants. You feel me? Pause. He had something on his hip, and I pushed it down his pants. You feel me? Disarmed him. Now, he didn't want to say what Brit Baby had on his hip, but he said he pushed it down into his pants and disarmed him. Y'all remember that? You know what I'm saying? And that's when you came out a little later after that. You know what I mean? Adam, you came out after that. You you missed all of that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? shit. See, I thought nothing. I, I didn't think it went that far. I'm going to leave it there. I mean, shit. I, be I ain't going to lie, man. Adam Platform, No Jumper, has officially turned into gangland. And mark my words, I don't wish this happened, and I hope it don't happen. But something is gonna happen at No Jumper, gang related. It's gonna be a mess, gang. It might not happen inside. It might not happen in front of No Jumper door. But something is gonna happen up that No Jumper. It's too many gang politics. It's too much instigating. And it's too much talking about things that goes on inside the gangs. Trust me. Watch what I tell you. 
be minding my business, cuz. I was you was right there, nigga. I walked, I walked up. I said, "P, get off, cuz." And then Brick told me that his gun fell. Out. I mean, uh, nothing. That Brick told him that his gun fell. Oh, I mean, nothing. Y'all know, Brick just went down for some guns and sh. Y'all know that Brick don't supposed to be around any guns. That's why gang members shouldn't be online talking about gang activities. Because y'all incriminating yourself and others. Now, what if, I don't know if Brick's still on probation, but what if his probation officer see this? What if the police or the feds see this? That two people is alleging that Brick baby had a gun and Brick Baby also kind of alleged that he had a gun well I'm gonna say insinuated because he didn't say a gun but if you put two and two together that is probably cut of pants whatever smooth I tell bro to get off cut whatever but bro was popping his little shit to it because he kind of felt some type of way about what Brick had did earlier he like I thought that was your boy cuz on here acting like he not I'm saying all type of shit like even you know so that's whatever but it it wasn't a big situation. Well, all right, P-Nice, why are you airing this out now when you seem like you've been on good terms? He just watched the video and he said that it wasn't no air saying that thing. It still, it still ain't no beef with it me. It still ain't no break. I just didn't like I mean, the way y'all last episode was when he was like, a nigga ain't never touched me and nigga ain't never did this and a nigga ain't never said, hey, what's up? What you say about the hood or uh, no hand saying this, no hand saying that? Like, nah, if we gonna talk about something, like I've been doing every time I ask a question, I don't say shit. I say, Brick, my homie. I don't downplay him. I don't make it look like he lying about anything or that's a lying narrative going on. When he did that, it made it look like whatever conversations that was had between me and my partners or whatever case may be, it made it look like I was lying. Mm, uh... You feel what I'm saying? That's why you don't supposed to talk about gang politics because you have gang members that's active and they not on the internet and they sitting back and watching other gang members talk gang activity on the internet. Some might lie. Some might be telling the truth. But these people gonna wanna know like what you mean? What you... Yeah, or this person said this on the internet. Like that shit caused problems. It shouldn't be no active gang members on the internet talking about gang activities. Because you get stuff like this. You heard what he said. Brit baby gonna say something and it got my gang thinking that I'm lying. So now he gotta answer to them or do something. Every time, I, every time the question is asked to P-Nice, I say, man, no comment. Or, man, this and that. I got the people in the comments. Oh, P-Nice, you lying. Oh, why are you keeping it going? This and that. I'm not keeping nothing going. I'm keeping my name in the clear. With my people, I'm keeping big name in the clear. With his people. Because I know he probably lied and went to his people and told him something else. But I don't care about that. Me and him hash it out. We good. So let's leave it at that. But when you go on there and it makes it look like P Nice is just lying about something, that's a whole different story, cuz I don't lie on nothing. Oh shit, okay. That was a good phone call. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> now y'all already know, man. Brit Baby, according to Adam, was watching the show. And I'm pretty sure he was. But Brit Baby heard the conversation and he responded. And he said, that everything P Nice said was cap. That he never was choked out. That he never was lifted off his feet. Because y'all already know on neighborhood what he about. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna say this once and for all. I'm gonna say it one more time. And I now now, Adam, on 6 0. When you wake up in the morning, call me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm dropping the footage tomorrow though, cause we gonna let the world decide that a nigga ever asked me anything about insane why he choked me. Now I'm looking at the CEO podcast page. They talk about they confirm that Brick got choked. Nigga, I ain't never left my feet. And once again, that niggas never put their hands around 
down my throat in my life, nigga. That's the type of shit that get nigga really uh on the dead homies, and it was a uh, time, nigga. And on the dead homies, nigga, you push my cell phone down my pants after I put it up for you, and I whipped it back out. Told your brother here, nigga, grab it before I do something to somebody in here, nigga. Let's keep it real, cuz all the nice shit, all that over fabricating, cuz you buff and tough and all that, man. On the dead homies, go slang some dick somewhere else, nigga. Just show the man your and DW as close as we is, cuz as homies, cuz you let your brother lie and say you 100% heard him say that. On the dead homies, nigga, my homie bigger than both of y'all, nigga. If he ever was around me and see me get choked by something, nigga, first of all, from neighborhood, cuz we would have did whatever it was gonna do. First and foremost, cuz it ain't no more peace because that on hood. I keep getting on the phone with niggas and then they, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. then when I tell you I'm finna drop the footage, it's, no, 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 don't drop the footage, cuz, but then I go on the nigga page and y'all posting that shit, cuz. Look, as close as we is, cuz. You let Cub fabricate and lie in front of you. Ain't a nigga never picked me up off my feet. A nigga ain't never put his hands around my throat. And a nigga ain't never disarmed the nigga, cuz. And I'm standing on that, nigga. On the dead homies, whatever it is. Niggas thinking that size matter and all that shit, cuz. On the dead homies, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that. And it just is what it is. That shit behind me, cuz. On the hood, a nigga pressed his knuckles into my neck. On West Side, nigga, oh, look, you niggas probably lifted three or four plates, cuz, and nigga, you know I don't give a fuck about that, cuz, on the dead homies, nigga, on oh, hood, really, come on, cuz, like, nigga, y'all supposed to be a nigga homeboy, but on oh, hood, cuz, we gonna leave it right there, nigga, on oh, hood, nigga tired of getting on phones with niggas, and niggas playing both sides and running the whack, talking to a snitch about gang bang business gang, on the dead homies, we just gonna sit that there, cuz I was just on the phone with cuz during, during the podcast, if niggas was in any certain type of way we've been around and then this is one thing that make niggas look dope look if you nigga got that close to me and asked me what i said about the why you didn't get off why you didn't get off why you gotta say what was you second guessing why you didn't get off nigga and i'm not taking it back or answering no phone calls nigga on the dead homies now at this point i don't know who to believe because just from watching dw on no jumper his persona is like he stand on business. He a stand up guy. He have morals. So why would he sit up there and let P Nice lie on no jumper? Y'all get in the comments and let me know. Tell me what you think. Do y'all really think P Nice choked Brit Baby? P Nice seen Brit Baby response and he responded. And his whole rebuttal was, you saying I ain't choke you out, right? Or you saying I ain't do this? Drop the tape. Check it out. Hey, yo, Brick Baby, check this out, cuz. The only reason I said don't release that footage is to help you out. I don't need that clout, nigga. I did that shit to help you out. But if you want to release it, do it. It ain't nothing on that motherfucker that's going to make me look bad. But when you release it, make sure you release the raw footage. No cuts, no edits, no none of that shit. Release the footage from when the cameras was filming from the back podcast room all the way to the middle where we was getting into it at. I don't want to see no cuts, no edits, cuz. Release all the raw footage. If I see any cuts or any edits, if it came from this scene, then just skip to another scene and all that type of shit, you let me know you hiding something. It's some lying going on. Release that motherfucker, bro. I want you to. I'm not tripping. It ain't gonna make me look bad, nigga. And I don't want to hear no, you don't got the raw footage. I don't want to hear no, the camera stopped filming. Because we all know, like you said, it's a reality TV show. And they live for moments like that. They would not stop filming when they see all that type of drama going on. Oh, and I don't want to hear no, um, um... The producer won't give me the raw footage and none of that. Come on, bro. You said it yourself. The producer of the show is what? It's your PR. If she's your PR, that means she works for you, right? Hey, get that raw footage, dog. Release that motherfucker. It's all good. Release that bitch. And you called me yesterday. You said, yeah, hey, yo, P nice. Hey, bro. Is we is we trolling? Is we doing a play or what? What I tell you? I said, no, we not trolling. We not doing no play. I'm not doing that internet back and forth shit. 
Then you go then then you go on your page and you say, uh, uh, if I dissed your hood, why you didn't get off on me right there, nigga? Is this coming from the same nigga when somebody dissed you and called you a nap? You didn't get at cuz. You didn't fire on cuz when he called you a nap. No disrespect to my NH niggas. I'm just telling the truth about Brick Baby. But to answer your question, why I didn't get off on you if I felt like you disrespected my hood? Because every time I was around you, you was always real cool, calm, collected, and very, very respectful. You're not my day one homie. So whatever you did behind my back, I don't give a fuck about because you don't owe me that loyalty. You didn't disrespect me to my face. You respected my presence, nigga. When I was around, you respected my presence. So whatever I heard on the phone call that was recorded, that you didn't know was being recorded, it is what it is. But one thing for sure, I'm not about to let you or nobody else be around me and I know you disrespected my hood without at least saying something about it. So I didn't get off on you, I just roughed you up a little bit and let you know, nigga, don't diss the hood. Within 10 seconds, I snapped back into reality. What I mean by snapping back into reality is the mature P nice kicked in, not the street P nice. And I thought to myself, like, damn, this nigga got his baby here. She like one years old. She a toddler. He on a live podcast telling niggas to pop up, show up here. What if them niggas really did show up? You got your baby here. What if it did go left? Went all bad. He got his baby here. So yeah, I did snap you back into reality. Like, nigga, you crashing out. Telling niggas to come up here and you got your baby here and your wife here, nigga. How stupid is that? Nigga, I'm a gangster. But at the end of the day, I got a whole lot of fucking sense too, nigga. Only reason I said something because I didn't like the way you was talking on the last episode. Like I said before, we are not beefing. We are not trolling. I do not approve of you saying anything disrespectful or negative about P. Nice. Keep this shit respectful like I did every time somebody asked me about you and I told them no comment. This was not a podcast issue. This was some street shit. I'm not about to incriminate me or nobody else. So from here on out, we gonna keep it off the net and keep it in the set. Notice I ain't said nobody else's names. I'm gonna leave that shit there. Hey, I ain't gonna need cop, man. This is getting out of hand. Like I said, I do not agree with the way that No Jumper platform is headed. It's starting too many gang conflicts. Too many gang members is getting involved in beef over a platform. And it's crazy. It's being broadcasted all over the internet. And if something happened to one or the other, the police is most definitely gonna pull up to one or the other. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think about this situation, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Hey, the goal on this video is a thousand likes. So make sure you hit that like button so we can hit our goal. Promo alert, promo alert. Today is your girl, Lena Love Lavender. Make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. But check it out. Y'all know Lena Love Lavender is known for her soap. But she did her big one with this one. She got deodorant. Yeah, I said it. Deodorant. I'm talking about, hey, I am what I am is the name of it. Lena Love Lavender has done it again for the first time. She presenting some deodorant with all natural ingredients. I'm talking about beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, and etc. I'm going to put the ingredients right here on the screen. Make sure you go check it out and check her out. 
you need the best soap in the game? She got it. Mm -hmm. You want the best deodorant? She got it. LenaLoveLavender.com. The link will be down in the comment section. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on my YouTube. $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube. And $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.